up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Today we are finally going to be exploring the new area in this game called Seamawville, previously known as the Abandoned Ship. And in order to get there, first of all, we actually have to surf a little bit. So if you've never been into the area before, you might want to stop off at Doofer Town or Pacific Log Town. Well, actually not Pacific Log. Wait, does that work? No, Pacific Log Town does not work. Either Doofer Town or Slateport City, rather. And the abandoned ship is actually going to be right there. You can kind of see it out of the corner of your eye. Or rather, it's actually called Seamawville now. But since I've already been in the area before, we can actually fly straight over to Route 108. Shouldn't be that hard to get there regardless of whether you've actually been in the route or not before. From Duford or from Slateport City, just surf down from it and you can pretty easily get here. So you want to make sure that you've got a Pokemon with Surf and a Pokemon with Dive before you head on into this area because you are going to need both of those in order to fully explore the place and probably you're going to want to want a lot of Super Repels as well. It's just going to make your life a little bit easier, especially when you're surfing here. Whoa, look at those cool Wingle over there. But yeah, I mentioned that this place was previously known as the Abandoned Ship, and now it is Seamawville because it's actually not even a ship anymore. And I don't think I've battled any of the trainers in here, so all of those are going to be open to battle. It's actually more like a, um, kind of like a, I don't know what you call those, but it's those buildings that are like an oil rig kind of thing. It's not exactly an oil rig, but similar to it, where they're kind of just out there in the middle of the ocean. But it was more like a research lab, and today we're going to be exploring all of it, as well as trying to figure out a little bit of the history behind this place, because there's actually a lot of really cool little trivia and things that we can find out from it uh, by exploring this place, and wow. The little Corefish trying to use Protect from our Wuju. Well, you know what you get now is you get a Mega Evolution, pal, because I've never used this one before. So it is Morphin time, and Wuju actually looks like a Power Ranger, which makes this even more awesome. Oh, it's Mega Gallade. We got the Mega Stone for this guy in the last episode. So if you didn't check that one out, I actually got the Mega Stone for Gallade as well as the one for Salamence. In case you've been looking for where to get those, I did it somewhere near the uh, beginning of the episode. So it wasn't too far in. Uh, but these guys are very, very low level, so I think I'm going to try and avoid most of the trainers just for the sake of not making this that long of a video. So there's another trainer right there. I think you um, you can fly here. By, I don't know if you have to like check the sign or stop off on the land there. I think just by visiting the area, it lets you fly here. So in case you wanted to come back here later, just come visit it and you can probably fly back. But now let's stop off in, whoa, crazy camera angles. So might be a little bit easier to actually use the D-pad here just to maneuver our way around. But this place has actually been turned into a national park kind of thing. So this lady here is going to ask if we're a tourist, but we're actually not. We're looking for mega stones and other things in here. Uh, maybe even some scanners of some sort, you know, I'm a member of the Nature Preservation Society that manages this site. Is there anything you would like me to tell you about Seamawville? What is there to do? The most easily recognizable feature of Seamawville is this building, which now tilts precariously into the sea. After being exposed to the elements for so long, the building's support structure is weathered and corroded, ultimately leaving the building in its current state. Please be careful when you step as you experience for yourself the awesome power of nature. Also note the mangroves growing in this area. They're extremely rare trees and can only be found here and around Moss Deep City. Lastly, I would like to point out the interior of the building has been largely untouched in the decades following Seamawville's closure, a fact that most of our visitors delight to experience. And what is this place exactly? It was once a facility built to extract natural resources that can be found in the ocean, so it's basically an oil rig like I said. Normally you would expect that an unnecessary facility like this one would be torn down, but an environmental survey carried out before new construction led to the awareness that a unique environment had arisen here in Seamawville. As a result, the demolition plans were shelved, and this space was born as a nature preserve. Is there anything else? I'm good. Yeah, we're very, very good here. We're also fundraising for the preservation of Seamawville. And you actually have to pay to get in here. So I guess we'll give this lady her $100. What a scam. $100 to visit an old boat. Come on. It's actually not a boat anymore, but excuse me if I do call it a boat just because I'm used to this being the abandoned ship. Um, this guy here, though, he wants to look for the scanner, but I haven't found anything like that. I suppose the only place I haven't checked yet is the lowest room you can only reach by diving underwater. But I just hate having the water close over my head or close over his head. Um, once you've beaten the Delta episode, though, I think there's actually a Mega Stone up here. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, there's nothing up here. I thought maybe there would be an item or something up there, but I guess not. I don't know what that is for, then. There's no hidden item up here, either, is there? No. Huh. 
I guess it's just for looks then. Oh well, I literally thought that there would be. There is still a Mega Stone that you can get here in Seamawville though, as well as that scanner. And the scanner is actually going to allow you to get yourself uh, a legendary Pokemon in the name of Lugia or Ho-Oh, depending on which version of the games you're playing. I think in this game that I'm playing, Alpha Sapphire, you get Ho-Oh, and in Omega Ruby, you get Lugia, but they might be the other way around. <laughs> good, good. I like it. I really do. This atmosphere, like, has been forgotten in time. Very cool. So you might actually be confused because there's nothing to do here, right? This is all, this is it. But there's actually a little entrance here. Now I've explored this area before in uh, my other version, Omega Ruby, so might make it a little bit easy. This place can be a little bit confusing when you first get in here. Isn't this place fun? I get chills just being here. And there are rumors about an awesome Pokemon living here. What, really? Is there an, what, what's the awesome Pokemon? Oh! There is actually a legendary here that appears, I think, after the post game. But since I visited here in Omega Ruby before the post game, I actually never got to find it. But I think now that we're in the post game, we might be able to find it. So I think we do have dive on a Pokemon. If we don't, then we'll just teach it to uh, Finn once again. Just get rid of another one of his good moves for freaking dive. Because I always seem to have to use... I should have probably brought a Pokemon that already knows dive. Because I really don't want to teach Finn dive. Uh, so we're going to have to... Chalk up another heart scale eventually to reteach him the good moves, but hey, look at that. There is a room that is actually already open. So, what I was saying about this place being a little bit confusing is that some of the rooms are actually going to be locked and you need to find the keys for them in other rooms, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Like I said, I've already explored this place previously, so most of the stuff should be rather easy to find. So, uh, we got a little Volbeat and Illumise battling us here. I mean, they're level 30. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why is everything now have protect? Or everything now using protect? At least Illumise didn't protect itself. That's why you protect yourself every time. You gotta watch out. You never know what exactly is gonna happen, Illumise. Is it Illumise? I've never really thought about how you say that name of that Pokemon. Illumise, Illumise. I always called it Illumise as a kid because, I don't know, my first language is Spanish and I guess my instinct is just to go with Illumise because that's how you would say it in Spanish is Illumise. Yeah. I guess sort of something like that. Look at that cute little couple though. They even got matching shirts. They look like the love discs are kissing each other. That's so cute, guys. I love it. Who is this guy here though? Very creepy old man standing next to them. Places like this all rare, so I'm taking a good look around. Huh, there appear to be other rooms. Indeed there are. I think that the uh, doors to most of them are going to be locked. We don't really need a repellent here though. I don't think there are any wild Pokemon. A gigantic PC that doesn't open. I think that actually the... The key for the first room might be, or the key to the second room might be somewhere in here, but I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, probably not. Alright, well that was, what room was that? It doesn't tell us. I know that this is room number two though, and it is, oh this is room number one. And it's already locked, so where do we get the key to even room number one? That is weird, I thought that that room would already be open. Door is locked and room two is written on that one. And that one just has boxes in front of it, so I wonder if we can maybe open that at some point. I don't know, did we talk to this girl though? I think someone around here gives you the key to it. Alright, I guess we won't worry about it for now though. Hello, Mr. Man. No? Alright, let's go dive deep down to the other area though. There's a whole other side to this place. And actually a, an underwater portion. Ah, oh, we don't have someone with dive. Dang it, so I am going to have to teach Fiend Dive another HM that we could have avoided if we just brought that... Even that Sharpedo that we got in the last episode. We could have just brought that guy. Or actually that girl, because it is a girl Sharpedo. And then we would have had, uh, surfing around on Sharpedo underwater, but... Oh, wow, you're gonna have all three of the water HMs, really, Finn? Well, that is what you become, Finn. You become my HM surfer guy. My, my water... My water pal partner. I don't want to call you anything, like, mean, because Finn is my starter, and I love him too much to call him anything mean, so you're just my little water helper. It would have been cool though to be on Sharpedo because we would have actually had the model of Sharpedo here underwater, but I don't think there are any Pokemon down here, so we don't really need to worry about spraying Super Repels. Down there is actually where the scanner is, so if you wanted to get that, just go and head down there. And I think you, I, I don't know exactly how you find it, but I do know that it's down there because I found it before. It is a little strange though, because it's like on a random tile. So I don't know how people originally found it, it's kind of weird. Probably from the guide or something, but let's go over here to the other section of New Mobile. Hey, little kid over there! Yes? I came here because my uncle told me that there are extraordinary treasures in this abandoned building. Don't you know everything about them? Well, how would you know? But if you learn anything, tell me, kid. Understand? 
I, I guess. I mean, I don't really know you, and my mom... What? Candy stores? I, I'm i excited like a kid in a candy store. I was about to say, you know, my mom told me not to talk to strangers, but then there's that guy just straight up chatting it up with us. I'm assuming those are trainers, so I'm not even going to bother with them, but... I think that the first room key you actually get from a trainer, so I am kind of tempted to talk to these people, but there you get the white herb. Here's room four. This one is room six. One of these must be unlocked. There it is. All right, so this is probably where we'll find the key to room one. Maybe. Oh, a high skitty doll. Isn't it cute? I remember when these were all the rage, but I wonder why it's here. Wasn't this an office? There's a skitty doll? What? It's covered with different knickknacks, all featuring a skinny in some kind of dress, but they're all pretty dusty. Alright, I know that this key is somewhere around here. Oh, this is the first uh, little key, or um, easter egg thing. So there's actually a lot of books around here that give you the history of Seamawville. So, it's kind of blurred in some places, but you can still kind of read what is going on. So this is Seamawville Service Invoice, name something Cosmo. So this is actually Professor Cosmo's dad. Um, and it's a list of things that he bought, I guess. So this is base something and the price for it. The rest is too damaged to make out. But Professor Cosmo's uh, dad was actually very, very involved in C. Mauville. Gosh, where is this key? What the heck? Maybe it's like a hidden item. Oh, there's no hidden item. I swear that the key is on the other side, though, because I don't think it's there. Why did this guy move? Why did you do you move around? Is that is that your thing? Oh, here's another uh, room that is unlocked. It feels as though you're being watched. Hmm. Wonder why it is that we could be being watched, guys. Gee. Oh me, oh my. I wonder what it could be. Let's check out this drawer here. There are little glass bottles lined up inside a dusty cabinet, all with the same label. Wake up with Devon Energy Elixir. Increase your focus. Work for days. You'll never need another rest. Really, that's it? Well, it turns out that I was almost there. We checked this side of the bookshelf. We were actually supposed to check this one. For whatever reason, they're a little bit different. Official statement of apology. Something, something Cosmo. What is his name? It starts with R and then Izo. Rizo Cosmo am responsible for the loss of the odd keystone donated by the Orberg mine. The rest is too damaged to make out. It feels as though we're being watched. Who could be, be being watched by though? Hmm. I don't know. It sure isn't any of our Pokemon, is it? Wooju, you looking at me funny? Ultron, I know you like to play pranks on us sometimes, buddy. Don't do that to me. Um. Excuse me. And we're going to encounter the sort of legendary Pokemon, Spiritomb. It's really, really cool how they added in this event, though, because you have to open and close a menu for it to appear behind you. I think that is so creepy, and I hope that they incorporate more stuff like that in the future. Like, imagine if the the ghost girl would have appeared like that or something. Man, that would have been cool. Whoa! I've actually never left the battle scene like that for a while, so I forgot that, like, it starts zooming in on your Pokemon and stuff. That is kind of cool. Uh, but this guy is at level 50, so we want to try and make sure not to kill him. Wooju is going to do a lot of damage, but I don't think we'll kill him in one hit, so... I don't know, because I went for Secret Power, so it's not even going to hit him. I thought that Secret Power for a second was uh, the other one, Hidden Power, but nope. There's Secret Power, there's Nature Power, and there's Hidden Power, and all of them are very different, but two of those are normal type moves, and they don't even hit him. Wow, he's boosting up with them nasty plots. That is actually not very good for us, because it could very well take out some of our Pokemon, but it's going to go Sucker Punch, which doesn't even work with nasty plots, so... Joke's on you, Spiritomb. Please don't die. Okay, thank you. So he's in the red HP now. Could actually try and catch him. Um, I I think we have Azula, so we could go for, like, Thunder Wave and make this easier for ourselves, but I don't think Azula at the moment actually has Thunder Wave, so we're just going to try this with normal methods, and you've got to be kidding me. What? It's been so easy for me to catch Pokemon in this playthrough so far. This is ridiculous. Alright, well, there we go, guys. We already caught Spiritomb. I don't even know what kind of Pokemon it is. Oh, we never upgraded our Pokedex. So, we need to go do that eventually, but not going to give this guy a nickname. There you go. And now that we got that out of the way, I actually want to try to figure out how New Mobile works, because I swear I did this so easily over in Omega Ruby, but I am actually struggling with it a little bit here in Alpha Sapphire, and I don't know exactly why... Uh, because we can't find the first room key. Are these people not trainers? I don't know what it is for, but I found a key. 
Uh, oh, okay. Well, there we go, guys. We were actually supposed to talk to that little girl. I am pretty dumb. I'm assuming that this little boy then is the trainer. Are neither of you trainers? I heard this place used to collect something called energy. What? Does energy not exist in this world anymore? This is all very, very weird. But there we go. Now that we got the re or the key to room one, we can explore the rest of this place a little bit more thoroughly. I swear, I knew that someone gives you the first room key, but the rest of them are going to be a little bit hidden throughout the rooms in here. But wow, we actually caught Spiritomb so easily there. A lot of people have been surprised with how easily I've been catching Pokemon because apparently Deoxys is supposed to be super duper hard to catch and we got him kind of easily. And then Rayquaza we caught on like the second try, so that was also pretty easy. And then again, I think for Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre, they lowered... Or they, I guess they raised their catch rate by a lot, so... Alright, now let's use this key. This is room 2, so this must be room 1. Let's go ahead and use the key. We're gonna open up room 1. Now we basically have a little bit of a game of, uh... Not really hide and seek, but we've gotta find the rest of the keys. However, I'm not really gonna rush to find the keys because there are a lot more sort of... Easter eggs and things that we can read up on here, so we wanna try and check everything, really. Let's see. Oh, I guess this one... Not all of them have stuff to say, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there's a key hanging at the back. Now we got the one for room two. But yeah. Um, there are a lot of things... Oh, gosh. That's uh, a little bit creepy there. You know what? We'll battle them. Why the heck not? There's a lot of other stuff like the ones that we saw in that other room that tell you about what Professor Cosmo's dad was doing here exactly because I said it was an oil rig. I think it was more for collecting some sort of energy from the earth. Like that little kid said that this place used to collect something called energy, but I mean, I guess you could say that like oil is a fossil fuel, so that is kind of energy for us, right? Isn't that's that's, that's energy. I don't know. I'm overthinking this right now, but we're going to take our, our own brethren there. Oh no, you little Curlia. It just had to go down this way. I didn't mean for you to see that, you know? You, you, I don't want you to see these things. Don't learn from your example of your elders. This is the one case where listening to your elders is not a good thing. Because destroying you in that way was just, no. You should not learn from my example, little Curlia. But alright, we got the uh, key to room 2. For some reason, my versus seeker thingy was going off. Like, it was saying that a trainer was ready to battle in there, but... Could they really have wanted a rematch that fast? Look, it's going off here and here too. Oh, I guess that just means that there are trainers in here? What are these two little girls doing? I don't know what that's doing. What does this thing mean? Oh. I get there's already a battle ready with these guys. Lois and Hal. We literally just battled them. What the heck? That's so weird. I don't know, but uh, what are these two little girls doing in here? It's having some fun, guys. Blush. Uh-huh. Yeah. How in the world did you get in? I locked the door. All right, you want this, don't you? Take this. What were you guys doing in here? Teaching this girl how hard it is to be a trainer. Hmm. Yeah, I, b I believe it. Okay. Finally, the date of closing has been decided. I can't say thank you enough to Stern, who invited us to his shipyard, when we would have been left adrift. Doc, who's done a dirty job, and I can start with a clean slate. The only way we can repay him is to support his business with our skills. Hmm. Let's see what's going on there. Captain Stern and Doc also seem to be involved a little bit with this place. This is a very strange place, though. I think as we get to room 6, though, we're really going to figure out some crazy stuff. What? That's cool. I thought that maybe that might be like a mega or the mega stone for Heracross. Confidential. The documents have dates way before you were born. Secret. Generation? What? What is this? The ment on new energy turned out to be true. The statement on true energy? The energy that uses potions energy? What is that? What could that be? It's called infinite energy. I think that's actually what it's called, infinite energy. But who could it be that it's using? Son? It ends in son. It starts with PO. Regeneration report on sun. A series of actions related to cancellation of the new Marvel project turned out to be true. I recommend prompt action against him as a traitor to our group team e leader operation group huh doc was that doc yeah must be doc who are they trying to um kick out of their group then hmm who's a traitor to their group then i really want them to just fill in the blanks for me because this is really cool this is actually really interesting to me i don't know about you guys but 
I find figuring all of this stuff out very, very interesting. Uh, I think we were already in this room. Yeah, they already want a rematch apparently, but we actually just got the key to room six. So let's head over to room six and see what's going on over there. But this is all actually really interesting to me. Infinite energy, Doc and I guess Professor Cosmo's dad were working on some kind of project involving creating infinite energy. It could be Watson. Watson? Yeah, because it ends in sun. So I guess they kicked Watson out of their team. So Watson was somehow involved in this, but what does the PO? What is that? Because it said PO and then a blank and then ON. Which I'm guessing that ON, you know, it ends for Watson. But what is a PO? Pokemon Watson? I don't know, man. All right, let's just go to room six and find out, see if we can learn anything new. This is not room six. Um, it's actually the very first room we went into, which was already open. This, I believe, is room six. Oh no, this is room four. What the heck? Where's room six then? Ah, there it is, room six. So room four is gonna be the last one. Kind of weird order to go about things, don't you think? Room six and then four. There's an opening in this one. It's an old hidebound notebook. The damage caused by the cancellation of the new model project has been catastrophic. As a member of the management, much of the blame and the depths will fall upon me. But that will all be be a little consolation to the employees working under me who will lose their livelihoods. I couldn't do a thing for them. I'm a man with no power. Protecting nature and Pokemon and the environment. It's great as an idea. It's a fine ideal to aspire to. And Watson is a great man for dreaming of it all. But cruel reality and the organization that I must try to preserve have dashed those dreams. I couldn't do anything for him. I'm a man with no power. Huh. Is this actually the guy with no power? Termination of New Marvel Project officially announced. Serious dogs began about the closure of Seamawville. Cries of concern erupt from staff. Members working at Seamawville. Greater Marvel Holdings reps remain tight-lipped about issues. Project leader Watson weighs in on problems plaguing New Marvel. Wow, this is all so cool, man. So, Watson very heavily involved. And I think the guy with no power is the guy that ends up being Mr. Bonding. That's another video that I want to make eventually is the forming of Mr. Bonding. So... Because he says he's a man with no power, and there that guy was saying, I'm a man with no power over and over, which was very suspicious of him to say that, you know, just as a random guy. Alright, but now we're on the outside for a little bit. Hmm, you want something? Caught anything? Eh, haven't caught any Pokemon, but I guess I did catch this. What? You just so happened to have caught the key that we need. Alright, it's really that I love times like this, out fishing on my own. That's awesome, man. I actually want to explore a little bit of this area more, though. So let's spray a repel real quick and see what we've got going on around this uh, surfing area here. But we do have the key to the final room. So maybe all of this uh, mystery and stuff will finally be put to rest. But it looks like they were trying to find infinite energy and maybe New Mobile was their key to finding infinite energy. What the heck is this? The door is locked and a storage written on it. I'm just kidding, I know what that is. That's actually where we're gonna get a very, very cool reward, but you know what? I'm pretending because I want to be surprised again. I found this really weird though that the doors are fine. Like, okay, the entire building is slanted, but the doors that they created are fine, you know? Isn't that weird to you guys? All of the doors, well not these, but the door to the storage room at least, isn't slanted. That's a little bit weird, but let's open up the final room, room four, and see what we've got waiting for us in here. Oh, an item. Nice, the storage key. This one's not hidden under anything. Not wasting my time here. For some reason, I swear there was a, a key under one of the mattresses at some point, but maybe not. Group Leader Stern, Evacuation Unit Number 8, Team I. So there were a couple of teams, it looks like. We have a new winner, the monthly slogan competition. It's Salty in this, the leading storage unit number one with don't dirty the seas with pollution and dumping. Dirty your uniform with sweat and hard work. In recognition of his win, Captain Sal? Salty? Salt? I, I don't know who Sal is. Will receive a Rocky Helmet and Rhyperior. Everyone will keep their slogan in their hearts as they give it all again next month. I don't know. Is this the last thing? There's an old game system with two screens. Something is different about it from the system you have. What? So they already had a DS at this point? This is so strange, man. Maybe this game is like so far in the future that they don't even need energy anymore. This is so crazy. But I guess that's it. We really can't find anything else about Seamawville, but we did learn a lot about this place. So let me know what you guys think of all of this crazy stuff we found in here. And if you know anything that I don't, because 
I guess I don't understand the entire story, but... I don't know, man. There's so much speculation to be done with all of the new stuff that they've added. Like, I, either these games are super far in the future from the rest of the games, but still prequels to X and Y as well as Black and White because Black and White kind of reset the world. And then X and Y once again kind of reset it, but they introduced mostly Mega Evolution. But yeah, I guess this storage must have been built after this place was already capsized because this room seems to be totally normal. Hey, would you look at that? Somebody got it open! Oh no. What is that thing right there on the floor, that pink thing? Well, if it ain't that kid from before, looks like you're done good, huh? Use the one who opened this. Yes, I am, sir. Please don't. Oh, what in the world is all this? He's probably gonna take all of this. There's nuggets over there, and there's nuggets over here. This whole joint's packed with nuggets, ain't it? No wonder the capo was looking for this place. What a punch in the job. Gob? In the job? Good work here, kid. Now scram. I ain't scramming nowhere. I found this place. I'm getting all of it. You found it. Mr. Rizo. Of course I did, boss. We hit the jackpot. You did not find it. I found this place. I don't understand why we can't just yell at this guy and say that we found it. My Takao. So this is where you've been. You must have been so lonely here. I'm sorry. Come on. It's time to go home. What is that? What is a Takao? What the heck was that on the floor? Hold up, uncle. Hey, kid. Looks like this is your lucky day. Looks like this all shine is all yours. Keep your nose clean. What? We actually get all of this? Oh my gosh. Big nugget already. And a TM over here. Ice beam. Holy moly. We got Thunderbolt in the last episode. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we got Thunderbolt in the last episode. We got Ice beam this episode. We got Flamethrower all the way back at Victory Road. So I guess not that one. Oh my gosh, no way these are all nuggets though. What? We just picked up one diagonally? They're not even all nuggets, they're all big nuggets at that. Holy crap. We're gonna make so much bank from this. I wonder how much money you get from selling all of these nuggets. That is ridiculous. I think each nugget is like maybe 5,000 Pokemon-y, so... This is a lot of bank that we're about to make. Oh my gosh, they're actually all big nuggets. This guy said the room was full of nuggets, but they're all big too. So, oh, never mind. There's a regular nugget. You might have also noticed a little bit of a sparkly over there. We're going to worry about that in a little bit. First of all, we got to pick up all of these freaking nuggets. I'm surprised none of these are like electrodes or something. But then again, why would you find electrodes here in this strange old storage room, you know? Or electrodes. I wonder what that thing was on the floor there. So yeah, if you guys know that as well as exactly what was going on here in New Marvel, I'm very curious to see what you guys think in the comments because this place is very, very curious and I want to know exactly what was going on here, you know? I don't know, man. There's so much speculation to do. I want to make videos about all of this, just like my ideas and opinions on what is going on in this region. How far in the future exactly are we when compared to the other regions? But yeah, here we're going to get the Beedrillite. I think that's one of the final Mega Stones that we are going to get, uh, from the new ones at least. Uh, maybe we have like one or two more to get in this game at least. Uh, I know that we don't have the Slober one yet, that one you get from the Shoal Cave. I'm not sure if I already got it in this version of the game though, but... Alright, I guess that wraps up Seamawville, so let's do one last thing, and that is go get the scanner for that guy. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to go on here. I swear there were a little bit more files and things that we could pick up though but yeah all of these things i really hope that they do answer in that third installment whatever it might be pokemon z delta emerald whatever doesn't matter i just i really hope that all of these questions are answered for us because that would be really awesome i also want to know what that thing was that that old guy was looking for that takao thing whatever takao might be but yeah as far as the scanner which is the last thing we can do in here it will allow you to get the legendaries lugia or ho depending on what game you're playing and where we get that exactly, I believe, is down under. Well, we don't really need any more repels, but whatever. We might as well spray some more, right? Down here. That was weird. There's, like, no transition or anything. It just, like, goes... I don't know. I think it's somewhere around here. Wow, there it is. There's something glimmering faintly in the water. Let's not pick it up. Why do we need... We don't need that. We gotta go explore this over here. Oh, we actually can't do anything with it. All right, well, let's go pick it up, then. And that is going to be the scanner. The first time I came down here, uh, the scanner won't be here until you've done the whole Primal Groudon and Kyogre event. So you might come down here earlier and not find it. That's because you've got to actually do the Primal Groudon and Kyogre stuff first. Then you'll be able to find the scanner. 
Actually, I'm not sure. It might even be Delta episode. No, it's not Delta episode. It's, um, yeah, it's after the Primal Groudon Kyogre thing. So you can get those legendaries a little bit earlier before, um, before the Pokemon League and even the Delta episode. You can get yourself Lugia and Ho-Oh, I think. Is that the scanner? Hmm. Do you think you could deliver it to Captain Stern? I still have things I want to expect while I'm here. Wow. Well, thanks for that, man. You know, I got you the scanner, but you don't want it. So I guess that is going to wrap up this episode. So we'll end it off staring into the vast expanse of the ocean. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and I'll see you all in the next episode.